Huh? And even teacher doesn't have time to check each and every homework. So finally Dr. Abdurrahim wrote the answers to all the tamari. And we have it. Huh? Inshallah, after the class, or tomorrow, inshallah, uh, I will bring and keep it here. And Brother Muhammad, inshallah, you'll give them. Huh? It's, it's essential. It will help you. Three books completes everything. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, Aina Satu. Here. Alassariri. Where is the watch? It's on the bed. Huh? Now I'm not analyzing, brother. Now it is understood, you know it. Okay? Aina Yasirun. Huwa fil hammam. You will memorize it slowly, slowly. Hammam is also Urdu word. Not Urdu word, Arabic word, but borrowed from uh, Urdu, borrowed it. Yeah, hammam. Bathroom. Huh? Bathroom. Bathroom. Okay. Where you take shower, brother. Shower room, you can say. Okay, brother. Aina Amina tu. Hiya. Amina. Mornas. Hiya. Fil matbakhi. I told you, biryani is being cooked for us. Aina Amina tu. Hiya. Fil matbakhi. She is in the kitchen. Very good. Now comes question. Look at it, brother. Hamza came in the beginning. Aminatu fil ghurfati? La. Aminatu fil ghurfati? Is Amina in the room? La. Where is she? Hiya fil matbakhi. It's easy, brother. Hiya fil matbakhi. She is not in the room. She is in the kitchen. Okay, brother. Aya sirun fil matbakhi? La. Hua? Fil hammami. Huwa fil hammami. Okay? Are you, brother Farooq, do you follow the, yeah, inshallah. Uh, you, it will be better if, if you have any problem, write it in English with a small writing on the book, inshallah. Okay, brother. Huwa fil hammami. Okay. Man fil ghurfati. See, man has come. Who is in the room? Muhammadun fil ghurfati. Huh? Muhammadun fil ghurfati. Muhammad is in the room. Fine, brother and sister. Wa man fil hammami. Wa man fil hammami. And who is in the shower room? Yasirun fil hammami. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Inshallah, you'll be able to do it. Huh? You'll be able to do it, inshallah. Fine, brother and sister. Maza alal maktabi. What is on the desk? Maza alal maktabi. What is on the desk? What is on the desk, brother? Al kitabu alal maktabi. Al kitabu muftada. Alal maktabi jarun wa majrurun shibbu jumla khaba. Got the idea? Inshallah. Very good. Maza ala sariri. What is on the bed? Asa'atu. Asa'atu. Ala sariri. Asa'atu. Muftida. Ala sariri. Jarun. Wa majrurun. Shibbu jumla. Khabar. Got the idea? Now, ikra waktu. Ma dapti awakhir al kalimati. By putting the proper vowel signs at the end of the word. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now remember our knowledge. Why did we take trouble to learn marfu, mansub, majrur? Now you will use it. Huh? You will figure out when the noun becomes majrur. Huh? Now start the first word. Al- Madra sa tu. Brother, why tu and not ti? Because noun in its natural form, are you with me? Will always be marfu. Noun in its natural form is always marfu. Okay? It will become majrur if something comes 
in preposition come. Or something else comes in the sentence. Okay, next one, brothers and sisters. Fill. Pati. Now you know T. Why do you do that, Brother Hassan? Because Afzar came. That made it Majroor. Huh? Got the idea, Brother? Next one, Brother. Fill. By T. You will be writing it, huh? Properly. Okay. And then, Brother, Al Bai. Two, mashallah. Al Ghurfa. Two. two, very good. Al Hamma. Mu. Fil Matbah. Khi. Al Matta. Bu. Al Al Matta. B. Al Al Kursi. Yi. Not Kursi you. Al Al Kursi. Yi. As Sari. Ru. Al Al Kita. B. On the book. Fil Masji D. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now tell me. Is it difficult? No, no, no. I want to hear from you that it is not difficult. <laughs> Inshallah. And Allah will make it more easy for us, brother. Inshallah. Okay. Now you, you got the idea, huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Ikra waktub. Read and write. So you will read loudly. I request you to read loudly at home. All the lessons. Because that way, Zaban mein rawani aayegi. Your tongue will get used to pronouncing Arabic sentences, Arabic words. Because we are not used to. This is a, a new thing for us. You know? Okay? What is the first sentence, brother? How will you start the first sentence, Sister Abir? Aktalibu, mashallah. What? Jami. Jamia. Ti. See? We cannot make it two, no more. We know fee has come, has to be majroor. Huh? What is the meaning of it, sister? The student is in the class. In the university. Jamiatu, don't worry. If you make a mistake, brother, huh? don't worry. Huh? If you make a mistake, the world is not going to stop. Huh? It will still go on. Huh? Okay? Attalibu Muktada, where is the khabar? Fil Jamiati. What is Fil Jamiati? Jarun, wa Majrurun, Shibu Jumla, khabar. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Next one, brother. Arrajulu fil masjidi. Translate, brother. The man is in the masjid. Same way. You can analyze it if you want to, but you know it, brother. Aina tajiru. Where is the merchant? Huwa fid dukani. He is in the Shah, mashallah. So where is Muftada? Huwa. And then, Fid Dukani, Jar Majroor, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Inshallah. Al Kalamu, Al Kalamu, Al Al Maktabi. Al Kalamu, Al Al Maktabi. Very good, brother. Al Kalamu, Al Al Maktabi. Same way, everything same. Aina Zainabu. Now Zainabu is a mornas. Huh? Aina Zainabu. Here. Fil Gurfati. See, can you imagine? No vowel signs. Dr. Abdurrahim thinks you have become expert. No need to put vowel signs. But Alhamdulillah, we can manage it. We know when the noun is marfu and when it becomes majroor. Huh? Fine, brother. Aina Zainabu, hiya fil ghurfati. So hiya mubtada fil ghurfati khabar. Shibu jumla khabar, jar majroor. Aina al waraku, where is the paper? Huwa alal maktabi. It is on the desk. Okay. Aina al mudarrisu, where is the teacher? Huwa fil fasli. He is in the classroom. Got the idea? Who am of the Where is Khabar? Fell fastly. Jar Majur. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Inshallah.